doctor, <clears throat> first take up the image based questions of the today's mock test. You have been shown the Jain cells. Which viral infection do you find these Jain cells? They are called Warten Finkel Day Jain cells, which are the classical feature which you see in case of measles. Warten Finkel Day Jain cells. So, herpes simplex, CMV, respiratory syncytial virus, everything is known to lead to development of Jain cells. Patient has an ocular cutaneous albinism. And uh, what do you find an abnormality in his peripheral smear? Typically in his peripheral smear, <clears throat> what you are able to see is uh, the presence of granulations. Are able to see there are lot of granules inside the WBC. So what is that condition which is associated with Large leukocytes with granulations with ocular cutaneous albinism. Chediac Higashi. I told you to read eight primary immunodeficiency disorders. You should read. It is an autosomal recessive. What is the problem in Chediac Higashi? There is a defective polymerization in microtubules. Can you please ask whether our Sikindrabad Gandhi Medical College students are they able to have the seamless broadcast in our class? <coughs> there are giant lysosomes in the leukocytes, recurrent infections along with albinism that characterizes the Chediac Higashi. Now, Doctor. You have been shown the histopathology of a type of lymphoma. This is basically called diffuse large non B cell lymphoma. So, uh, which chromosomal translocation is associated? Basically, it is containing the neoplastic cells that look like mature lymphocytes, that is the hallmark of it. So, what is the one which is associated? T1418 is the one which you see in all non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, the chromosomal translocation which you should not forget. 28-year-old <coughs> presents with fever, weight loss, myalgia, abdominal pain and his physical examination findings have been shown to you. What do you see? Vasculitis led to ischemia of the skin leading to development of a lot of ischemic cultures is what you are able to see and uh, he also had hepatitis B infection in the backdrop. So, myalgia, abdominal pain, hypertension, hepatitis B infection along with skin ulcerations. On telephone only you should make a diagnosis. Polyarthritis nodosa is the vasculitis. Why they will have abdominal pain? Because the vasculitis will decrease blood flow to the mesenteric vessels that lead to mesenteric ischemia and that is the reason they have abdominal pain. Once more let me tell you, <coughs> Kawasaki disease, Takayasu arthritis, Hinox Kandin purpura, polyarthritis nodosa, uh, all vasculitis. One question without vasculitis, paper nahi hota, joint cell arthritis, etc, etc. You know what I am going to say. Anatomy to medicine.com, general medicine, rheumatology folder mein, vasculitis ke baare mein, humne poora charcha karke chhod diye. So, please have a review of that video. One hour video will be there. In that one hour, entire vasculitis will be reviewed for you. 10, 10 points which you need to remember. And definitely it is a rewarding experience. One question jarur aata hai uh, tomorrow's PG medical entrance mein. You have fluffy spots on his retina. It is one more feature because of the vasculitic involvement of the retina. So, what is the hallmark of the polyarthritis nodosa? 
histopathological hallmark fibrinoid necrosis is what you find in the vessels is what I want to underscore to all of you. <clears throat> then once more a favorite question of the examiner. Microscopic polyangitis and polyarthritis nodosa. In donon ke beech mein kya farak hai? Which involves lung? Which doesn't involve lung? I will not tell now. You have to go and review the video in the anatomy to medicine.com video library. Then all the spicy questions of the examiner. Which involve lung? Which doesn't involve lung? Etc. Etc. One more thing in polyarthritis nodosa kya hota hai? It has an association with hepatitis C infection. Don't forget. Huh? Now, 49 year old with subarachnoid hemorrhage is being shown. What do you find here? Lot of cysts in both the kidneys. And subarachnoid hemorrhage is there. And what is shown here? A berry aneurysm which has undergone the rupture. So, where do you find the combination of the two? ADPKD. So, and what is the chromosome number of ADPKD? Sweet 16 is ADPKD is what I want to underscore. <coughs> Then what is, there is once more, PKD1, PKD2, two genes are there. PKD1 is 16, you may go well prepared to the exam, examiner will ask you PKD2. Huh? That is on chromosome number 4, do not forget. HIV positive presents with nephrotic syndrome. Immunofluorescence is showing IgM in all the affected segments. A reticular staining is showing the presence of scarry areas which are suggest to a focal segmental necrosis. So, what do you expect if you happen to do the renal biopsy? Large focal hyaline deposits are the hallmark of the HIV nephropathy. What type of nephropathy it is called as? Collapsing glomerulopathy is a variant of focal segmental glomerulosclerosis which is found in the HIV positive individuals. Give me the board. <clears throat> Basically, if you look at uh, the structure of the Bowman's capsule overlying the glomerulus, what do you have doctor? You have the glomerular capillaries on which you are having the Bowman's capsule. Bowman's capsule has two layers, one visceral layer, one parietal layer. Each of them have got epithelial cells, epithelial cells. The visceral layer epithelial cells are also called podocytes. Whenever you are having minimal change disease and nephrotic syndrome, what is the fundamental problem happening? These podocytes will show effacement, they become blunted. Effacement of podocytes, food processes is the characteristic feature of minimal change disease otherwise called nephrotic syndrome. What is the meaning of crescentic glomerulonephritis? Crescentic glomerulonephritis. Whenever in glomerulonephritis, this parietal epithelial cells start proliferating. What will they do? They will occlude the lumen of this Bowman's capsule. So, such a type of pathology where parietal cell proliferation is there, that proliferated parietal cells collection is called crescent. That crescent in turn will lead to collapse of the Bowman space. And pathologists call it as crescentic glomerular nephritis. What is the term used by the clinicians? Nephrologist terms, rapidly progressive renal failure. Within a few weeks only there is a development of renal failure, whenever crescentic glomerular nephritis is there. Now you understood? So where is the pathology in crescentic glomerular nephritis? Parietal epithelial cells of Bowman's. Where is the pathology in minimal change disease? Podocytes which are the visceral epithelial cells. Now. What does HIV will do? HIV also will target the visceral epithelial cells. It leads to the destruction of the podocytes, which is the characteristic feature of the HIV nephropathy. 
And in HIV nephropathy, what is the term you will remember? Collapsing glomerulopathy is what you have to basically remember. Up DNB jau, AIMS jau, PGA jau, Jipmar jau, kahi bhi jau. Agar PG medical entrance le rahe to, what is the topic without which there is no question paper? Glomerulonephritis. Today only, there are totally 7 to 8 varieties. MPGN type 1, MPGN type 2, membranous nephropathy, focal segmental glomerulosclerosis. All these things, 10, 10 points you must have in your fold. How do they look histopathologically? What are the 5 or 6 causes for them? How do they clinically present? Everything on glomerulonephritis. Today evening only, you must raise white paper in parliament on glomerulonephritis. I saw 5, 6 topics. Bada topics and another 10 to 12 chota topics you have to finish every Sunday after getting inspiration that you are being battered in the mock test. Unless I fail, unless I give you that uh, uh, inspiration, I am failing in my job as a teacher in conducting the mock test. Take it, doctor. Once you keep doing that, ultimately in November when you take AIMS PGI, oh, you will think last August only we raised a white paper on that evening on this topic. Oh, is it an apoptosis question? Oh, the other uh, day in July only we raised a white paper about this matter. This issue is already there in our control. The more the things are in your control, the sure shot you are going to be in the top 100. Right? So, that confidence you should get every day when you are taking mock tests. 74 year old women, with bone pains, hypercalcemia, renal insufficiency, anemia, susceptibility to infection. What is the most common cause of death in multiple myeloma? Infections, renal failure. <coughs> right? And skull radiography showing calvarial lytic lesions, which is characteristically seen in multiple myeloma. And what is the cause of renal insufficiency in multiple myeloma? Basically, it is the production of large tubular casts by those excessively produced light chains of immunoglobulins in multiple myeloma. They lead to formation of cast nephropathy, which lead to development of uh, the uh, renal failure is the underlying pathology. A 43 year old is having sensory ataxia. Last time we discussed what is sensory ataxia, cerebellar ataxia, how do you differentiate? Okay. Uh, wash basin phenomena. When our patient goes to wash basin and closes the eyes, he will fall down. Which type of ataxia you will have? Sensory or cerebellar? Sensory ataxia. Whether cerebellar ataxia may? Whether you open eyes or whether you close eyes, you will have, you, the patient will have imbalance. So, patient is having sensory ataxia. That means his dorsal columns are affected. Same time his pyramidal signs he is showing because the corticospinal tract involvement. Combination of the two is called subacute combined degeneration of spinal cord. And when MRI is done, selectively posterior columns are showing the demyelination. Image based questions may history se hi aap pakadna hai, clinical vignette mein kya puch rahe. Oh, image dekh ke tab super duper heroic diagnosis karne wala cheeza nahi, nahi rehte. Right? If you think I will see first time and make a rarest radiological diagnosis of subacute combined degeneration without knowing that it is demyelination of uh, dorsal columns. Eh? So, very difficult. But still, examiner will give image based questions. In all India, DNB everywhere. So, what is the most common cause for the subacute combined degeneration? It is the pernicious anemia, <coughs> is what you have to basically remember. Sandeep has a little trouble only with Sandeep or others. Jada Deko? Oh, our Sandeep is in uh, Gandhi. No, no. Uh, just check uh, online student, maybe 
you need to have at least one Mbps line doctor. You want to enjoy the <coughs> seamless video streaming. If you have a half MB speed also, video library can be accessed, online video library. If your internet is not good, don't blame us and tell this is a failure technology. This is not a failure technology, very successful technology. Now I have students in Thailand, China, Malaysia, Singapore, etc. So they are studying in different uh, country medical schools. Everywhere same story will be there. Gluteus maximus will be on media soul, you know. It won't suddenly come and uh, stay underneath the sole of the foot. So whatever the sciatic nerve supplies, supplies everywhere across the world. So <clears throat> now we are offering this online video library to the international students across the world. Why not Indian students? Already are uh, thousands of them are watching it. So, <coughs> um, very good. Shweta says there is no trouble, sir. Carry on. 19 year old presented with hypertension, pulselessness of the radial artery, and her image shows what is that condition called pulseless disease? Takayasu arthritis. It is called aorto arthritis. Whenever inflammation involves arch of aorta, that extends into the subclavian and lead to the occlusion of it and subclavian supplies ultimately the brachial and radial. That is the reason that side pulselessness will be there. Any young sweet looking Asian female presenting with hypertension, don't forget to hold both of her hands and feel for the pulse. And uh, any person who is below 30 with hypertension, Above 55 with hypertension. What is it called? Secondary hypertension. Always you should suspect secondary hypertension. Above 55, kisi ko pehli bar hypertension dikhai diya. Chances are there that it is essential hypertension. But at the same time, you should thoroughly evaluate. Why? Above 55, due to atherosclerosis, there is, can be a narrowing down of the renal arteries. And that can lead to renal artery stenosis leading to hypertension. So, when any hypertension which is refractory to the regular antihypertensive dosages, suspect what is the underlying cause of secondary hypertension. Unless you have that high index of suspicion like Sherlock Holmes, you will be missing simple diagnosis. Eh? So, IOTO arthritis is stucky acid. Now, which neoplasm will be 20 times higher? With an arrow showing the trisomy of 21 is, uh, I think, uh, spoon feeding. Actual examiner may not give the arrow. Huh? So, Down syndrome. Hai. Down syndrome may, there is a very high incidence of ALL. ALL, AML, etc. is what need to be remembered. A 72 year old from Dehradun is having weakness and weight loss. Habitospinomegaly, generalized lymphadenopathy. There is also a leukocytosis and peripheral smear is showing presence of. When peripheral smear is prepared, what happened? A weak lymphocyte got broken. And what is this cell called a smudge cell? Presence of smudge cell in peripheral smear. In an elderly man, which leukemia, CLL is what you need to remember. ALL bachyo mein hota hai, CLL buddha pe mein hota hai. Agar aap 70 saal ko buddha pe kahe to, huh? America mein 70 is the time life starts and they start marrying, remarrying uh, the people. So, Difficult to define what is geriatric age in America, but India may to. So, AML ka bata hai, kabhi bhi aasakta. Anytime AML can come, generally from 30 to 60, anytime it can come. CML will have marked speedomegaly, middle age once more, classically. Okay? Once more, which topic ke bina? AIMS PJ. Jukmar, DNB, All India, Nahi Hoga, Leukemia, Lymphoma. They are all reserved seeds. 
लाइक मैनेजमेंट कोटा रहता है ना मेडिकल कॉलेज में ऐसे रिजर्व टॉपिक्स है वो आप आप अगर आप नहीं पढ़ के इफ यू आर हेलिजिनेटिंग दैट वो नहीं देता अगर देते हो तो देखेंगे बोले तो पहली बार एग्जाम में देखना पड़ता है तो यू शुड यू शुड रिवाइज सो दिस इज टिपिकली बी लिंफोसाइड फ्रॉम विच सी एल एल विल बी एराइजिंग विच लुकेमिया प्रेजेंस विथ द मीडिया स्टिनल मास विच टाइप ऑफ लुकेमिया वन टी सेल ए एल 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 में टी सेल वेराइटी प्रेजेंस विथ मीडिया स्टिनल मास लीजन सर्जरी सिंड्रोम हैव यू हेड ऑफ दैन हा सेरिब्री फॉर्म न्यूक्लियस सर्जरी सिंड्रोम ये पूरा बजवर्स पकड़ना है थ्री ईयर ओल्ड बॉय लार्ज इनिलेटरल पेनलेस एबडामल मार्स हिज मदर नोटिस वेल गिविंग ए बाथ द एबडामल इमेजिंग इज शोइंग टिपिकली द रीनल मार्स विच इज कंप्रेसिंग द एडजस्टिंग स्ट्रक्चर्स एंड रीनल कैलिसियल सिस्टम ऑल्सो गॉट कंप्रेस्ड सो वॉट इज द मोस्ट लाइकली ऑरिजिन ऑफ दिस ट्यूमर विच ट्यूमर इट इज Wilms tumor. So, embryonic renal cells from the embryonic kidney are the source of the origin of the Wilms tumor. Is what need to be remembered. A 37 year old presents with three days of progressive abdominal pain with bilious vomiting. <coughs> Imaging is shown in the figure. आपको क्या दिखाई दे रहे? Like uh, Drona asking Arjun. Look at the radiograph and tell. There are air fluid levels. There is also air in the biliary tree. But we are modern drona. We are putting an arrow also and showing you. Still, if you could not recognize uh, air in the biliary tree, so one intestinal obstruction is. Another thing is air in biliary tree. Hai. So liver se shuru karke. कौन सा चीज इंटेस्टिन में आके इलियम के लेवल में ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन करके लटक गए गाल स्टोन सो इट इज ए क्लासिकल स्टोरी ऑफ गाल स्टोन इलियस बिकॉज इट ट्रेवल्ड थ्रू द बिलियरी सिस्टम देर इज एन इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ एयर इन टू द बिलियरी ट्री इंटेस्टनल गैस क्रूड एंटर इन टू द लिवर एंड दट लेट टू डेवलपमेंट ऑफ गैस इन दी लिवर सो दिस कॉम्बिनेशन इज बेसिकली वॉट इज द डायग्नोसिस गाल स्टोन Ilias is what you have to basically remember. Then, eight year old, he is eating too much because he is gaining weight, and uh, he has hypotonia as a baby and a weak cry, and he has always been slower and shorter than the other kids, and his phenotypic features have been shown. What do you find here? Sexual infantilism. Penis is almost non-existent. But still existent, and uh, uh, phenotypic abnormalities are there. So, what is that condition we are talking about here? Prader-Willi syndrome. So, Prader-Willi syndrome is due to deletion of the chromosome 15, which is being paternally derived. Papa se aaye hue chromosome gaye to kya tha? Prader-Willi. Amma se aaye hue chromosome ko kuch ho gaye to? Angelman is what you have to basically remember. Then, 48 year old, poorly controlled peptic ulcer. Epigastric pain is there. Multiple ulcers in the stomach are there, and CT abdomen. What is it showing? Pancreas ke head me ek chota mass dikhai de rahe na. O mass hota hai gastrinoma, which is causing the excessive production of the Gastrin. Normally, where is the gastrin produced? Is the question. G cells is what you need to remember. Twenty-eight year old women, far zero, early pregnancy, midvaginal bleeding is there. She has a past history of loop excision of the transformation zone of the cervix, and the ultrasound examination, sound examination is showing fetal cardiac activity. Ultrasound is also showing funneling of the cervix. 
the cervical incompetence and uh, two cornu are there and uh, pre pregnant time she has undergone the imaging which is showing bicornuate uterus so what is the scenario here it is a mullerian abnormality may pregnancy ho gaya mullerian abnormality may pregnancy ho gaya and uh, patient is also having cervical incompetence leading to <coughs> the development of <coughs> mild vaginal bleeding at the 15th week of gestation so what is the international recommendation on this in this scenario emergency sacrilege is not uh, recommended um whenever there is a, a uh, uh, problem like this in mullerian anomaly this is little mrcog level question uh, normal people answer karne wala question nahi hai but kabhi kabhi exam mein crazy questions aate hain unless we also give crazy questions in mock test maza nahi hai ha thoda crazy four five questions hota Uh, but this is not crazy this is a important question a hirsutuman infertility ultrasound mein kya dikhai de rahe multiple cystic lesions which is polycystic ovarian disease what is the combination of things in polycystic ovarian disease estrogen levels rise lh level rise fsh remains normal fsh by lh falls sex hormone binding globulin level also will fall because of hyperandrogenism and testosterone ap androsterone levels rise and that is the reason hirsutism sab kuch aata hai and testosterone levels also will increase to more than 2 nanograms is what you have to basically remember the 36 year old women presenting with infertility her laparoscopic findings of the utrovesical pouch have shown what are you finding here hemorrhagic lesions chocolate cysts ab ovary mein rehta chocolate cysts matlab isme kya hai you are finding endometrial implants inside the uterovesical pouch which is a classical story of endometritis endometriosis sorry endometriosis so what is wrong about the clinical presentation of endometriosis it is the it is the Uh, not primary amenorrhea it lead to secondary dysmenorrhea which is the pain beginning up to 48 hours prior to menses is the classical finding there can be pelvic pain which is worse during menses there is dyspareunia where such a painful intercourse that uh, uh, she can't tolerate uh, even the idea that her partner is coming back from office to home because the intercourse is such a painful event so dyspareunia then dyskeesia even defecation can become very painful especially when endometrial implants are there in uh, in the uterovesical pouch is what you need to basically remember then 34 year old painless third trimester bleeding her ultrasound is being shown placenta is being abnormally implanted upon the cervical os nearer to <coughs> and uh, what is the etiology of placenta previa aur ek baar without which there is no question paper definitely on abruptio or placenta previa or vasa previa zarur ek question aata so it is a multiparity which is a risk factor not nulli parity older mothers fetal anomalies previous abortions there are all the risk factors for placenta previa is what you should basically remember 32 year old is having vaginal discharge her microscopic wet mount already we became such an experts in preparation that wet means immediately our brain knows what to expect so wet mount means bacterial vaginosis typically there is a discharge will have fishy odor but what is important thing pruritis unlike candidiasis pruritis is a rare finding in bacterial vaginosis is what you need to remember and what are these cells called clue cells is what you have to basically remember 
then uh, a woman presented with a lesion shown in the figure. So what is the lesion shown in the figure? It is venereal wart, which is basically called, caused by human papilloma virus. How does human papilloma lead to development of cervical cancer? Because it will be producing E6, E7, which are the proteins. And what will they do? They affect cell cycle regulation. And a dysregulated cell cycle will lead to dysplastic changes, malignancy, etc., etc. Then, so that is all the story of uh, the image based MCQs of this All India PG mock test for this week. You want to take a backup? Yeah. 174 by image, hai. Uh, uh, Ismay already we discussed that question. Uh, what is that question? Uh, which fetal anomaly will lead to association, not uh, leading to? If placenta previa is there, uh, normally if a uh, anencephaly or uh, any alteration in the shape of the baby is there, then uh, the ultimate placental migration cannot be normal and it will try to accommodate as much as possible into the lower segment and that lead to development of predisposition to placenta previa. Any fetal anomaly can alter the room space available, real estate inside the womb, eh? that is the point.